guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a pink, I guess you can call it like a pink kind of purple look. It's a really fun look. I went ahead and did this side of my face. And I'm sorry if I sound a little rushed. I kind of have to run some errands, but I don't know how the camera is picking it up. I did this eye. But basically, we're going to use some MAC shadows. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on, as a base, you can use uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I like. I use it more for my Coastal Sense shadows because I think it really, really works great for them. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use a MAC Paint Pot in Groundwork. You can use any color that you have. Um, Painterly Paint Pot is the one that I guess it's very, very popular, which I had gotten this one first. And um, it's a little darker. I mean, it kind of matches, but I wear this by itself, too. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And we're going to go ahead and use, um, which one is this? Sushi Flower. And I'm using some um, Sigma brushes. Again, you can use any kind of crease brush. This one works really good. I, I think it's just kind of fat for me. I think I, you know, I like a skinnier one better, and I have one somewhere, but I'm not going to go dig it out. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use this, just a little bit, and do it right here. It's really going to help this. And then, once I do that, because um, I don't want too much of the pink. I'm going to go ahead and, and you can do this any way that you want. You can do the base color first if, if that's easier for you. Um, I mix it up. I, there's no particular way I do it. Sometimes I just do the crease color first, just depending or, you know, it just depends. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and use this color here, which is, I haven't memorized these colors. This is Plum Dressing which is like a pinky purple, like a fuchsia, I guess, so, and I'm using a 239 Sigma. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over, and I'm doing this, this lightly, because, you know, I'm actually going outside, so, if you want to do this for a night look, you can really, really deepen this up real easy. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that all over, okay, and then... I'm going to take another little crease brush, only because, like I said, I like having skinnier brushes. And I'm using um, one of these purples from Team Violets from the, the Sweet Array collection. I'm using this dark purple that has kind of like pink reflex in it. Um, you can use any purple, any deep purple that's dark like that. It, it, you know, it doesn't have to be the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just do this right here on the outer V. Just almost, this is, I'm only doing this almost like a guide because I'm going to go ahead and sweep this dark purple over there, over the crease with the bigger brush. But this will kind of make it a little, a little more defined. Okay. And I can barely see what I'm doing. All right, then um, I'm going to go ahead and use a little of this purple here. And like I said, you can do this in any order you want, whatever works for you. Beautiful iris. And I'm using the same 239 brush. I'm just doing it on the, the opposite side. And I'm just putting a little bit in the corner there, just a little bit. Okay, so once that's done... I'm going to go ahead back to my big fluffy brush, take a little bit of the purple, and I'm going to lightly, lightly sweep that over, just like that. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, and then for the brow, you can either leave it alone, I mean, not everybody uses highlight colors. You can use a concealer, um, which I use most of the time, but today I'm just going to go ahead and do this very lightly. Uh, I'm going to use rice paper. Again, I don't memorize these 
just just really like I don't want too much of it. I'm gonna flip this brush over and just kind of blend them in a little bit. Yep. And this is the the Mac from the Hello Kitty. Uh, I guess it's a two thirteen, I think. But anyway. Okay, so once that's done, you see it's really light, but this is such a good look that you can darken by adding more purple, more darker purple, and really sweeping it in, and really build it, and it will really make it pop. And it's got that pinky kind of purple fuchsia, because it goes really good with this shirt that I have on. I don't know if you can see it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, some white here in the waterline. And again, you don't have to do this, but I, I love white eyeliner because I really love how it makes my eyes pop. And I'm going to take my little small 219, SS219, let's be politically correct here, and my darker purple again, which I should have did this before I put the brush down. And I'm going to just sweep it under here, sweep it around just so it's kind of uniform. I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so just like that. Then I'm going to take my uh, Black Track Fluid Line. You can use any, any, any gel, eyeliner, whatever works for you. I think this works great. I think it doesn't dry up. Uh, I hate to be rude, but I have to get a little closer because I'm going to poke myself in the, in the eye. Not very good at this. On camera, anyway. And I'm using my angle brush from um, Coastal Scents. And I really like it. Honestly, if I wasn't using this camera or recording myself, I'd be a lot faster at this. But, okay, we're all not perfect. So, once that's done, I'm going to apply some mascara. You can use whatever. I actually just bought this recently and have been trying it out. And it's uh, the Eye Magnifier by Rimmel London. And, and I really, really like this. You know, I think it's, it's pretty good. It, it's pretty easy to come off. Um, again, I, I still like the CoverGirl Lash Plus. I just hate trying to get it off at night. It's just a pain in the ASS. Okay. Ow. See? I poked myself in the eye. Not good. Okay. Not perfect, but... I probably would spend a little bit longer trying to put it on. So that's done. And I added a little bit of um, On a Mission blush from the Style Warriors collection. And I, I just, I did that with my SS168. You know, just dabbed a little bit on. And there you go. And if you want to add a touch of, of lipstick, you can do like a nice pink, uh, pale Okay guys, the camera cut me off, so I'm going to say real quick, you can use the pale pink, like Angel. Um, if not, go ahead and try, I, I dabbed on Chignon, which is from, I think it was from some collection, and it's like a purple, and then I, I put Love Alert Dazzle Glass, I dabbed that over top. So, that's it guys, bye!